Guys, welcome to Jeremy's Rock School 365. Today we're going to perform Teen Spirit by Nirvana, and I have the pleasure to have Talon Spry with me. Hello, everybody. He has been studying with me for four years over at Rockstars of Tomorrow Norco, and I am stoked he can come sing this song with me and play. So um, we're going to get into it. Here we go.
All right, let's get into Smells Like Teen Spirit. I'm going to break it down. So this song holds a lot of power chords and um, single notes in the verse. And there's a ba uh, if you saw me performing it with uh, Talon, I'm just doing the bass part to kind of keep the rhythm going. I didn't, I actually, I skipped out on this because there was no bass player. So in the song, first chord is an F power chord. So a power chord is your first finger, it's just two notes. First finger, um, F note, uh, first string, third finger, or fourth finger rather, on the A string, third fret, right? And that gets da da da. Now we're gonna take that same shape and move it down a set of strings. And it's gonna be first and third frets. And then uh, on my A first fret and on my D string, uh, third fret. And remember, E, A, D, G, B, E. Those are your string names. So your first two chords. Now you're gonna take these same chords and go up to the fourth fret, right? And you're gonna play same shape. Fourth string, or fourth fret rather, a low string, the fifth string, sixth fret. And then you're gonna go right below it. Fourth fret, sixth fret on the A and D strings, your uh, fifth and fourth strings. So all together we have. Now get comfortable with that, I'll play it a few times. power chords um, it keeps I'm able to keep my wrist straighter and it's just a uh, for me it's a way more comfortable than using this because this kind of makes my me arch my finger I don't really care for that also when we're playing the power chords how do we mute the strings so when we're on the low string the first chord I gotta mute those strings so I'm gonna use the this piece of my finger the meat of the finger there right to, to kind of kill the, the strings right so each, and when we go to this one, we gotta mute this low string so we don't have this sound. That's no good. And you might have that and it's okay. Just roll with it and you'll eventually learn how to mute those strings. But I'm using the tip of my finger to, to deaden the, the low E string right here. And I'm using these, this part of my finger to deaden uh, the strings there. So let's go through the rhythm now of this uh, beginning riff. So we have... What that is is down, down, uh, down, down, up, and then it's one, uh, down, up, down, up. I'm just holding my hands over the strings, deca, deca. like just literally. I'm not, I'm not pushing down. I'm just. If I push down, it'll, we don't want that. We want. So we have. And to start out, let's just do the. Fourth fret. Now I'm going to add the, all of the rhythm. So it's That's that section broken down. And just remember, down, uh, down, 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 uh, down, up, down. That's it, somebody. Down, up, down, tick it, tick it. Down, up, down. Then, so down, up, down, tick it, tick it. Next set of chords. Down, up, down, down, up, down, tick it, tick it. Next chord. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, down. So that's the rhythm. Let's get into the next part. And that is. First finger, you can bar here on the first fret for the B and E strings, the top, the top two strings. And you'll hear the bass going. That's when the vocals.
vocals come in. And literally, that's all that's happening. Then once it gets a little fast, I think it's four times through, then it goes, doubles up. And I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's all that's happening there. Then it comes into the bridge section and it goes, it's all power chords again, and it's all in the low string this section. So it's one, 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 six, four, one, one, two, one, one, six, four, one, one. I'm just doing power chords. So root is uh, first fret, and then uh, the uh, on the A or A, yeah, A string, I'm using my um, pinky on the third fret. So that's the first chord. Second chord is I just move up a half step. Second fret, fourth fret, first finger, pinky. So bam, 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 Then back to the one and three on the E and A strings. Bam, bam, six and eight. One time, four and six. So bam, 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 and all down strokes. Down, 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 down. There's actually a down, down, ticket, down, down, down. So down, 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 So down, 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 up. Very progressive, um, very rhythmic. So that brings us to the solo section. Now, um, the solo is, is basically the vocal melody, so we're gonna get right into it. It starts out on the G string at the fifth fret. And I, I kinda slide into it. Then I play my first finger on the fourth fret on the B string. Then I play my third finger at the sixth fret on the B string. So we got five G, four B, 6B, then I'm gonna jump all the way back to the first fret on the G string. Then we're gonna go up to six on the B, four on the uh, B, then we're gonna go six, five on the G string. And then we're gonna repeat that six, five, three, one, Three, five, three, one, open. So all together really slow. We have five on the G, four B, six B, one G, up to six on the B, four on the B, five on the G with the third finger. I'm sorry, six, then five. Six, five, three, all the way down on the, on the G. So it's six, five, three, one, three, five, three, one, open. And then it repeats it again. goes into this one open on the G, one open, one open, one open, one open, and open again, it hits again, and three on the D. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, and then you hear the... So let me play the solo really slow for you. Thank you. 
was awesome. Talon, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe and the little bell notifications, hit it. Because I got a lot of people coming on. More of this kid. Um, a lot of good stuff coming on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And um, I love collaborating, especially with my students. This, yep. I've been teaching this guy for four years, man. We've, four years. We've, been, <laughs> we've had a lot of fun. So if you can't get a spot at Rockstars of Tomorrow Norco with me, come see me online. Thanks for coming on, Talon. Hey, thank you. You're welcome, man.